Hello guys, my name is Eric Van Wilderman, and welcome back to White Today. Who White Today? So, in the last episode, our lover, the girl we want to give chocolate to, so young, she got captured by a tree, and I had to look this up. There's a freaking key on the first floor, down here in this room where that ghost first appeared in the first episode, right above this door. Like, what the hell? Who would put it there? And that's why I couldn't progress, because you need that key to go into all the classrooms. And now we gotta solve a big puzzle. But I will say it again, who in the hell decided it was a good idea to put the key, like, on top of the door where nobody would look? Really? 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 Anyways, whatever. We're gonna go unlock all these classrooms, okay? Because we can, because we're cool now. Hey, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, it's really horrible, I got it. Okay, where do I unlock this shit? Ah, right here, there we go, I removed the lock. Yay, so now we can go into this and we can solve a puzzle. Now, let's just turn on these lights, huh? It's broken, God damn it! Why does it have to be dark? I don't want it to be dark, it's scary shit! Hello, locker. Hello. Okay, it's soybean milk. Okay, now, to solve this puzzle, what we have to do is, remember there was a note that we got that said in the PE room, there are, there's like this lock combination, depending on how many balls are in each bin. So we gotta go to all the classrooms and we gotta check out how many balls in each bin there are. So I'm gonna cut out all this travel time in between, because it's randomized for each playthrough of the game. Like, sometimes when you play through, the balls are in different locations. So I'm just gonna cut out a lot of it, unless I run into something interesting. But I will show you guys what I'm counting and stuff. So anyways, there is one soccer ball, or football, depending on where you're from. So I'm gonna write that down. I have a trusty pen, I'm gonna write down this friggin' puzzle, and I'm gonna solve it. One football. There we go, I removed the lock, okay. Okay, now we're going into room number 26, which is beside 27, and we're gonna see, is there any bins? No, there's a bunch of cleaning shit that was spilled over, and there's nothing in this locker. No! Is that the only locker I can go in? That's, that's just, come on, give me some sugar, baby! Give me some sugar, no! Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, give me some sugar. Oh, it's a pen. I've always wanted a pen. Oh, hey, it's a note. That's great. Let's read this note, okay? Ooh, school ghost stories number one. The dormitory spirit. Why High was a girl's school tucked away at the bottom of a very remote mountain. There were very few houses nearby, so not many people went to this new school. The dorm C superintendent was known as the Tiger. She was well known for her strictness and refined bearing, a trait she inherited from her rich, grandiose family. This made her very unpopular with the girls of her dorm, who were always complaining about her strictness. Not long after the start of the school's second term, a second-year student fell from a third-floor window and broke her neck. She had been playing truant after playing truant after an exam, trying to avoid the superintendent. Pretty soon, there were rumors going around that the tiger had driven her to suicide, or even that she had killed the girl. She was visibly shocked by the rumors and became much more subdued. The girls of her dorm were very displeased, or very pleased that they had gotten back at the superintendent. Oh, high school girls are so mean. The following evening, another girl was punished by having her ponytail cut after being found walking outside of curfew. The girl was outraged at the loss of her beautiful blonde ponytail and stormed out of the room in a rage. The following morning, she too was found dead. What? <laughs> Years later, after the superintendent had died, her ghost began to appear in dorm seat corridors and the dorm was closed off. They say that her ghost still walks the dorm corridors even today. Holy shit! I really hope she doesn't appear. Now would be a bad time, ghost. Please don't appear and scare me up. You're really just getting angry. Okay, thank you. Now we're in. This is classroom 24? 212. Oh, shit. Wow, that's crazy. What the hell do you hear that? It sounded like there was a running, sort of clicking noise, like a ghost or something. Ah! Fuck my life! Uh, and. Uh, and s <laughs> Someone said that. Or the yelling, the screaming, the laughing. Uh, sounds like Sai from Fatal Frame 2 and does. Okay! Cool, in room 212, there are a baseball and a football. Okay, so we have another football, and we have one baseball. We're gonna write that down! Oh, puzzle solving is so much fun! Okay, we're on the first floor, this is room number 25, and I am so happy that it's lit up down here, because it's so dark in the hallway upstairs, and I never know, like, whether or not I'm doing it properly. Okay, there's a note on the ground. Autumn Newsletter. Yum do Newsletter! Autumn Edition! Holy shit, my kitchen light just turned off. That was creepy. Is autumn the season of suicide? According to statistics, more men and women commit suicide at a young age than any other age. These suicides mainly occur during the spring and autumn seasons. In this aspect, suicide can be shown as much more common in emotional people rather than rational people. 
Okay, yeah, well, obviously. There's a commonly discussed idea that suicide is a way of escaping the terrors of life, but is a criminal act in religion. Suicide is a choice given to people by God, which some see as a punishment. A person facing suicide stands on a forked road. When the person feels that life is meaningless, they take the path to death. They only choose to live when they are enjoying life. Yeah, I guess that's the argument for suicide. It's like, God gave you life and you're destroying it, so that's why it's evil. Anyways, I gotta get this light on. I am so sick and tired of that laughing ghost shit. Okay, I'm back. I had to get my kitchen light on. It helps with the light on my face, so... Okay, so there is a baseball, a volleyball, and a basketball. Okay, so that's one more for baseball. That's one volleyball and one basketball. Let's not get baseball and basketball confused. All right, there's one more bin I gotta find. One more bin -a Oh, yes, I got a lunchbox. That, that's probably gonna fill my health up a lot. It'll recover a lot of my health. That's great. That is great, because that tree takes out so much life out of me. So it's, what the fuck? Do you hear the bell? <gasps> What's the bell? Is? Oh, no, no. What does that even mean? Is there... Usually... Oh! What? 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 Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. What the f- Oh, that's just the noise from there. <laughs> from the, uh, from underneath that we saw last time. Holy shit. God, this game is creepy! Okay, there's another note. Hurrah, let's read. Real ghost stories! Okay, school ghost stories, sorry. Find my body. It was so hot that summer's day. It was so hot that summer's day, I could hardly breathe. The cicadas were crying so loud. The cicadas are the things that you hear in anime. It's like, mwah, 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 mwah. They're like big bugs. They come out during the summer. The bridge connecting the new building and the main building was supposed to be finished over the summer holidays. I could see that the workers didn't want to do it, but they were getting paid more than they were required, so they kept working. Because of the heat that day, the chief let the workers have a nap from their work. During the workers' nap, some of the scaffolding collapsed. The workers were in the middle of their nap, so they didn't take notice. The chief- There's so many weird noises, I can't fucking read! Game, stop it! There's so many weird noises. The chief was furious and started to yell at the workers, but they just pretended that we were still asleep. The chief, still yelling, walked over to the fallen scaffolding and put them back on himself. All of a sudden, the yelling was caught up. It was silent. The workers become scared. The chief and the rest of the workers gathered around the de a decapitated lunch lady who was struck by the scaffolding. Oh, shit. Both jugular veins were cut. So there's tons of blood spraying across the ground. The stream of blood from the veins would be pouring out for minutes. From that point, the workers began working a lot harder. Their brains seemed to have switched on finally. Everything was perfect, but there was one problem. The lunch lady's head was missing. The chief and the workers didn't want any trouble, so they all agreed to chuck the headless body into this- Oh no, you assholes! That place is haunted forever. No one knew about what they did but them. The construction of the bridge was delayed after what happened that day. Many of the workers were injured soon after the incident. The last worker was killed in a faulty pulley accident on the fourth floor. His body was minced, but the head was unharmed. The chief killed himself later on because of the constant hauntings around the school. After the construction finally completed, the woman's head was found in a flower patch at the start of the term. That's fucking creepy! Ah, oh, she's told- Oh, hey, there's our last uh, bin. So, a football and a basketball, okay. So, out of the four bins, we have found three footballs, two baseballs, one volleyball, and two basketballs. Now, we just gotta- I'm gonna check the other rooms, though, just for the hell of it. And then, we're gonna go to the uh, PE room, which is on the second floor, if you remember, but it was uh, locked. But we have the key now, so hoorah! Okay, 2-3, you didn't have much. Well, I can go in there now, that's- this is the room, this is underneath with the tree. I eventually gotta go in there, but I gotta get something first. Okay, I've removed the lock. This is the last room I gotta go inside. This is the final room on the first floor. So let's see, no, there's obviously not a bin here, but is there any items? Items! Items, 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 I love items, give me items, give me items, it's a lunchbox, that's right! Okay, so I'm on the second floor, this is the picture room. So I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do in this picture room, it's a first aid kit. Woo, replenishes all health, baby, that was totally worth it. It's the school mountaineering club. Oh, mountaineering. Where is that? Is that Sony-san? Sodak-san? I don't know. Maybe Sodak-san. Yeah. Could be. I have no idea. Okay, what's this? It's a can of insect repellent. Ooh, I'm gonna need that in the room with the tree. And there's a note. Yay, it's another note. I love notes. The tree. Oh, this is the story about the tree. Okay, this is important. Kijin, a grade 2 student, second grade student, was suspended for fighting. She felt so bad about what she had done, so she ran from home. In grade 3 during the spring semester, she returned back in school carrying a flower pot with her. I, oh, that's why the flower pot got knocked over in the at the beginning of the segment. 
I couldn't help but notice how she took so much care for the flower pot. It's so odd. But other than that, she seemed like a normal kid, like most of the other students. One day, someone dropped a chemical solution into the flower pot during a chemistry experiment. Her flower withered and she went hysterical. The class quietened down and a horrendous stench filled the air in the classroom. There was no visible source of the smell, but perhaps the flower pot? Oh, so maybe the flower pot was possessed. The teachers attempted to throw the flower pot at Heej and went into a demented rage screaming, I will kill you! Don't hurt it! I will kill you! No one wanted any trouble, so they left her with the flower pot. That night, the school janitor, Yi Bongu, Bongu, you asshole, you're the one chasing me, was on his patrols and was walking up towards the science rooms. At the end of the hallway, he could make out a figure of a girl. He walked with haste to her and called several times. She began to turn. The girl locked her eyes onto him. Her clothes were bloodied and she had a pot in her hand. In the other, she held a dead dog, its blood emptying into the pot. Yi Bongu turned and ran as the girl dropped the dog to the ground. Ugh. Soon after the report, Yi Bongu gave back to the principal about what he had said. So he told her, or him, Yi Jin was found dead in the girl's toilets on the third floor. Oh, so I'm guessing the flower pot was possessed and was like, give me the dog's blood. Oh, that's fucking weird. Okay, what? There was a search. Th oh, is this? Okay. School Mountaineering Club. Hmm. Interesting. I've been to a few mountains in Korea. I wonder if I've been there. Doesn't look familiar. Okay, can I... This is a totally different room. Let's unlock this. Sure, why not? Why not? I like unlocking things. It's great. It's good fun. Okay, this is some more photography. It's a picture of someone asleep. Or is it dead? Soybean milk. Get it. Just pick it up, please. Okay, fuck. I gotta go all the way around. Why? Why, game? Why do you gotta make me go around and get my soybean milk? I just wanna get my soybean milk, okay? Stop it already. Okay, so we have explored pretty much every single room in these upper floors. So now we are in the PE room. What is this? It's a note. Of course. PE class, grade 12 ball practice. So class 12 ball practice, ball practice, ball practice. The equipment will not have been cleaned up thoroughly after lessons. Uh. Okay, so now we got to add these to the totals, by the way. So these are two baseballs. So now we're up to a total. I'm going to put these in different color, though. So now there's a total of... Fuck you, colored pen! You're such an asshole! Okay. Four baseballs. And that's one more volleyball, so there's two volleyballs. And there's another soccer ball, a football. So there's another one. And now we have a basketball. Okay. So now, where do we gotta put this code in, though? Whoa! Doors, holy shit, he just flung those open like a badass. There we go, we gotta put that in, okay. Turn left to the number of baseballs, okay. So, oh shit, I gotta remember all this, okay. Okay guys, just calm down, just... Let's look at this together and then I'm gonna do it slowly. Turn left the number of baseballs, turn right the number of volleyballs. Turn left the number of soccer balls, turn right the number of basketballs. Okay, let me just make sure to write that down. Okay, so here's the safe. So, no, we gotta turn left first, goddammit. Okay, we gotta turn left, baseball, there's four. One, two, three, four. Now, volleyball, there's two. One, two. And now, soccer ball, or football, there's four. One, two, three, four. And then basketball is one, two, three. One, two, three. Fuck you! No, you're a fucking jackass. Game, what the hell? Holy shit! Okay, guys, so the reason why I was messing up is to turn it to the left. It really means, like, the arrow pointing to the right, because that way you're... God, I don't know. I don't even know. It took me a few minutes, but I got it. Okay, whatever. I got it, and you just saw me do it right there. I wasn't giving any commentary, but I'm gonna show it just because I was like, go. Okay, so I got a bottle of acid. Hurrah. Very harmful to humans, animals, and plants. That's great. Now let's go kill this motherfucking tree. Okay guys, so we gotta go in here and we gotta destroy all those things, but we're gonna take some massive damage. So what do we gotta do? Use, protect yourself from bugs, flies, and insects. Let's use it. Okay, so we can protect ourselves, but we gotta use this shit. Ba-boom! Ba-boom! Yeah, that's right! Haha, you sacks of shit! Ah! What? I gotta use a bunch of it? What? 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 What's even going on? How am I supposed to use this? How many times do I gotta click on it? God damn it! What the fuck? There's a ghost in here! Oh, I see! I gotta go to where she is! 
Oh, that makes sense. I gotta follow where the guy. Ah! <laughs> it's you, stupid little ghost story girl. Ah! <laughs> ah! What the hell? This is hilarious. Ah! What? Oh no, she's moving. Sack, get out of my way. Where are you? Hello? Did you go into here? Oh, she went into that one. No, oh, she's a tricky little bugger. Oh! God damn it! I gotta use some. Use it! Okay. Where'd you go, girl? I'm good. Ow! The pain of getting splashed in the face with stuff. That sucks! It must suck to be a porn star then because you gotta do it all the time! Oh my god! Okay, where are you? Hey, where'd you go? Stop hiding. Just go into one of those sacks. I wanna pour stuff on your face, girl. It's gonna be nice. You're gonna like it. Ah! <laughs> Get away. Yeah, good! Ah! Uh -huh. I got to that time. No, I see, oh, oh! It's the last one! You're not gonna make it, I'm gonna beat you! Stupid, creepy plant girl that killed that dog. Although you probably were possessed, so whatever. Yeah, I beat the tree, baby! I beat a tree! I don't feel very proud of myself, this is a tree. But it's a ghost tree. It's a possessed tree. This is- whoa, what the hell? Where- oh, I just crouched. I thought I was like falling into the quicksand or something. Or not quicksand, but you know. Okay, I saved the day. Let's go talk to So Young. So Young, I saved you! Jump into my arms and I'll swing you around and you can give me a big kiss on the penis. I mean cheek. I mean cheek! Give me a kiss on the cheek first. Penis later, okay? Come on, baby girl! I tried to save you. Can I turn on the light now? Fucking shit. Really? Okay. Oh, she's gone! What? Okay, hey, well, at least we found this key. It's an amulet. An amulet with mysterious properties. Mystery. Mystery! Okay, I want to find out what's in this room. I'm going to light a match, and I'm going to find out, because I'm inquisitive like that. Inquisitive. Hey! Oh, come on. I wish the light worked in here. God, I'm getting stuck on these desks. Desks! Why do you hurt me so much? Is there anything I can- Oh, fuck it, I give up. I don't even give a shit anymore. That's just frustrating. I don't mind darkness, but it's like pitch black, you know? You just can't see shit. Okay, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? Why'd you go in there? Why? Okay, anyways, guys, I'm back at this cutscene, and when I first got here, I answered the questions completely wrong. I got so much red, it was like red, 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 red. And I failed, and so I'm back here answering the questions again. <laughs> I just, I want to get a good ending, so I'm trying to answer the questions right. So whenever you answer it wrong, this big red bark appears, and it's annoying, it's a pain in my chest. So let's try this again. I'll show you, at the end of this episode, I'll show you all the bad answers that I did, by the way. I'll, I'll take that on. Okay, I don't know. Calm down, I should be asking you the same. I don't know. We gotta act like a fool. Like, I have no idea what's going on. I just, you know, I've been reading all these notes. And, and uh, you know, I've been reading all these notes. Calm down. See, I said calm down before. I said calm down. I was trying to talk sense into her. But then she was, like, being a bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? Are you... I didn't do anything, you crazy bitch. Holy shit. Malane? <laughs> Why aren't you talking? I came to give- I came out for a walk. Ah, shit! I came to give w someone white day candy, is that- okay. Yeah, I wanted to give white day candy can- I'm answering right so far, there's no red! There's no red! Is so young? No. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Ah, shit! I answered right again! Whatever the reason you came here is, you should know that your actions have had a bad effect. Why do you blame Buns McGee? Such an innocent little Buns. We haven't got much choice. We'll have to move together from now on. Really? I don't want to move with you. Okay, so she ran away before, and it said, Should I follow her, or should I follow someone else? And last time I chose to follow her, I see there's a choice. There's a crying girl. Or there's her. There's song ah, I can follow. Or the follow the crying sound. Fuck! It's red both ways. It doesn't matter. Okay, I want to see the crying sound. Oh! Is that you? Oh my god! I got what? No, no, no. <gasps> what? Hi, Soya. Did 
Did you do that? What do you mean did I do that? Did you get hurt? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Did you get hurt? I'm worried about her. I want to know. Did you look for a way out? They're all locked. There is a place. Well then, stop worrying about it and leave. What? You want... See, she must have something to do with it. Hey, you are one mean biatch, okay? Anyways, I got one answer wrong, but um, whatever, it's just one answer. I'm not gonna cry over spilt milk here. Who gives a shit? Okay. Anyways, let's use this wooden amulet here. The word wood has been carved into the amulet. Yay! To freedom, baby! What? Okay, it's a whole new area. Enter main building two. We're going into main building two. What's gonna await us here? I don't know. Mystery. Weird. Main building area two. So area two, so I believe this is like act two or three or something. Act two, yeah. Holy shit. Something is shaking. That's kind of creepy. Well, anyways, guys, you know what? I have played enough. I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we are going to continue right here where I left off. And we're going to go into this main area building, too. And we're going to go explore a bunch. And who knows? Maybe some creepy shit will happen. So I will see you then. Okay, guys? Peace.